So who do you think will win Saturday's Democratic caucuses in Nevada? Let me know at Facebook.com slash SR or on Twitter at Brett Baer. You can use the hashtag special report. Privacy or national security? That is the question tonight for one of the world's biggest and most profitable corporations as it deals with federal agents in the wake of a deadly terror attack. Senior correspondent Adam Housley has the details from Los Angeles. A showdown between Apple and the feds has gone public. Apple CEO Tim Cook says he will fight a court order to help unlock one of the San Bernardino terrorist phones, saying, quote, while we believe the FBI's intentions are good, it would be wrong for the government to force us to build a back door into our products. Ultimately, we fear that this demand would undermine the very freedoms and liberty our government is meant to protect. Found in the front seat of a Lexus used by Saeed Farouk, the phone in question is key to the investigation. We still have one of those killer's phones that we have not been able to open. Right? It's been over two months now. We're still working on it. The FBI has been unable to unlock the iPhone 5C, and a federal judge has ordered Apple to provide reasonable technical assistance to help crack it. At issue, disabling a security feature that erases data from the iPhone after too many attempts to unlock it. Agents tell Fox, without this, they are unable to, quote, connect the dots. They believe will likely lead to people who helped Farouk and his wife, Tashfin Malik, carry out the December terror attack in San Bernardino that killed 14 and wounded 22 others. And they need access, and frankly, Apple is stopping that access, and they're going to have the blood of dead Americans on their hands. It's wrong. We're at war. We need this information. Who are they to say that, they, that we can't get it? The White House says this is a one-time request, something Apple says is just not possible. They are not asking Apple to redesign its product uh, or to create a new back door to one of their products. Uh, they're simply asking for uh, something that would have an impact on this one device. Now, the Verizon iPhone was given to Farouk by the county of San Bernardino as part of his job. Agents say the phone company can only provide basic information and not enough to help the ongoing terror investigation. Apple has five business days to formally respond to the ruling. And the DOJ has given us a statement late tonight, Brett, that says in part that the judge's order and our request in this case do not require Apple to redesign its product to disable encryption or to open content on the phone. In addition, the judge's order and our request were narrowly tailored to this particular phone. Brett? Adam Housley in Los Angeles. Adam, thank you. More on this with the panel. The presidential candidates are talking.